what's happening, Warhill? It's the week of Thanksgiving, 2020. And even though this year has been crazy, we know that there is a lot to be thankful for. We're thankful for you and your patience and your diligence and all your hard work during these troubled times. Here's Dr. Carroll with the news and updates for the week. Hey, 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 what's happening, Warhill? It's Dr. Carroll with the news for the week. And first and foremost, everything I cover and even more information is in our family newsletter that got emailed out this past Friday. So please go check it out for all the details. And most importantly, and first and foremost, uh, based on a sharp increase in COVID cases across the region, WJCC schools are postponing uh, return to in-person learning for high school students. The new timeline is being worked on now, and until we have a new plan, all high school students continue to learn remotely on the current 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. schedule. When we've got further details, we will update you and all our families uh, sometime in the future. I want to keep everybody safe. When we do return to campus, parking. Parking is an important thing, especially for our upperclassmen. I want to emphasize from some uh, questions I received, parking is free. There is no charge for parking. However, you need to complete a parking, parking pass and uh, provide some other documents for that. The link for the forms to fill out for to receive your parking pass is on our website and also in the newsletters. Please check that out if you plan to park this year uh, at school. I want to thank our, our Math Honor Society. Check out the newsletter. Math tutoring for all of you who may be struggling with uh, math this semester or you know, your grade isn't what you wanted it to be for the first quarter. Check out the link for that. Start participating, get some peer tutoring. Uh, they do a great job. Uh, and can help you uh, better understand your math, whether you're in algebra, whether you're in calculus, or something in between. Go ahead and check that out. And then last but not least, uh, a, at a uh, request from many of you, uh, there's another picture day, Friday, uh, December 4th. Uh, they will, um, Candid Color will be back on campus. Check out the details in the newsletter. Sign up if you still need to get your picture taken. Maybe you want to put it in an ornament, great present for mom or dad. That's an old standby. And then, uh, or make sure that your picture gets in the yearbook. So check that out. That's all the news I've got. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe, everyone. And we'll talk to you soon. I do miss seeing you guys very much. I miss talking with you and laughing with you. I hope everybody is happy and safe. Uh, espero que os vea pronto. I hope to see you soon. Adios. Hey everyone, I'm Doc. I'm the athletic trainer here at War Hill High School. As the athletic trainer, I take care of all of our athletes and all of their injuries. Um, speaking of which, there's something I don't miss and that's injuries. I prefer our athletes out playing their sports um, being safe, being healthy, having fun. Um, that's what I do miss though, is the sports. I miss going into practices and seeing everyone and chatting with everyone and getting to know them. I miss our games where we get to see uh, all of our athletes' hard work um, put to the test and usually we're bringing home W's. Um, but I think the biggest thing that I miss is with my student aides and our athletes um, going to practices and games and chatting and getting to know all of our kids um, or having them come in to my office when it's not busy and sitting down and just chatting and get to know them as people. I really do miss that. I hope we have that back within the next few months. Until then, please get outside, exercise, work out, stay healthy. Most importantly at this time, stay safe and I hope we see you in a few months. Bye. Hi, my name is Amy Kellogg and I'm an English language learner teacher. What I miss most about school is you and the joy, excitement for learning that you bring into the classroom. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Casey Wilson and I'm the speech language pathologist. 
One of the things I miss most about going to school is my students and doing all different types of hands-on activities with them. It was my first year as a high school speech therapist last year and to have it cut short made me really sad. So I'm so excited to get back to school and see everybody again. Hey, what's up Warhill High School? This is Mr. Stark here and I'm dealing with the question here of what do I miss most about being in the school in Warhill? Um, and I have to say one thing that I really miss is seeing my previous students from, uh, from past years that I taught, especially my personal finance students. I would love it when a kid would sat in my personal finance class the year before and then would come in the next year and say, hey, I have this question about buying a car or I have this question I'm considering using this option to pay for college, what might it be, or considering a certain career. Um, I love seeing that and I love talking to you guys about that. So if any of you were in my class last year or the year before, feel free to reach out, email, message me, contact me on Twitter, whatever it might be, because uh, I love talking about those objects and uh, I love talking, reconnecting with my past students in general, all right? Take care, guys. For our safe harbor moment this week, here are the counselors, and they're keeping it real. Welcome, War Hill students, to Keep It Real. I'm Mrs. Miller. And I'm Mrs. Knight. First of all, we want to congratulate Patricia Kiza. She watched an episode of Keep It Real and told us a fun fact about her counselor. Your gift card is in the mail. Be on the lookout for future drawings. You too can win by watching future Keep It Real episodes. I recently heard a quote, kindness is always fashionable and always welcome. How true is that? We live in a world where showing kindness can be a fashion accessory that's tossed aside, making it easy to get discouraged. Sometimes you may find yourself asking, why should I be kind when people aren't kind to me? Does it even matter? Guess what, friends? It does matter. It matters to you, and it matters to the people spreading your kindness to. Fast fact. Did you know kindness raises your positivity? When you practice kindness, positivity increases, and it spreads out onto the world, attracting others with the same energy and making your life brighter. Be an individual who spreads kindness and let your kindness cause a ripple effect of positivity that comes back to you in many ways. So now we've asked a few of your fellow lions to tell us what kindness means to them. Hi, my name is Collins and what does kindness mean to me? Kindness means to me that you're being courageous, um, you're giving more than you take, you're being selfless, um, you're being real positive for others around you, you're being a light in people's dark, um, you're being respectful of other people's feelings. You're being affectionate and showing empathy um, and just overall being a really nice person. Hi, my name is Hunter and this is what does kindness mean to me? Kindness to me means to always be respectful no matter what and just treat people the way you want to be treated. Hi, my name is Jackson and what does kindness mean to me? Kindness is being caring, loving, passionate, and at the end of the day, sometimes selfless. Um, it is taking the extra step out of your day to make other people feel better and hopefully in return they make you feel better by giving the kindness right back. Um, it, could be what, it could be in the form of a greeting or complimenting somebody or just maybe making a new friend and talking to other people. Um, and I definitely feel that it is one of the most important things, especially at a time like this where Social media constantly displays hate and so news outlets always talk about just negative things when in reality, there's a lot of good that goes on the world that doesn't go notice. So that is what kindness means to me. To me, having a positive energy towards another person is kindness. I believe kindness can be showcased by showing respect and listening to other people, whether you agree or disagree with them. I also believe that kindness is your ability to help other people whether you were asked or not asked to that's what i think of when i hear kindness hi my name is malicia and kindness means to me treating people the way you want to be treated and spreading positivity to others and making people feel confident in themselves wow as mother Teresa said kind words can be short and easy to speak but their echoes are truly endless thank you so much for sharing what kindness means to you 
Okay, Warhill, now it's your turn to inspire kindness. We challenge you to do one random act of kindness each day for a week. Even if it's just opening the door for someone, sending a letter to make someone laugh, or just telling someone how awesome they are. Then share your acts of kindness with us. Tweet or post to Instagram using the hashtag Keep It Real Warhill. You will be entered to win a Starbucks gift card. Until next time, keep it real, Warhill. I recently caught up with Braden and Shelby Shimon. They're national level competitors on the ATV circuit. All right, so I'm here with Braden and Shelby. They're students at Warhill. Uh, Braden's a senior. Shelby, you're a freshman, right? Yeah. Okay, so I understand that something really cool happened recently involving both of you and uh, some national competition. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, so pretty much this year with nationals, uh, with, you know, all of quarantine that happened at the beginning, it was delayed. So we didn't really start till May. And uh, we've been just going pretty much across the uh, country. So like our first race was like in Georgia. And then we pretty much went like from there, we pretty much went like as far as Texas for races and stuff like that. And uh, we um, both got national championships in our classes, which I got a championship in open B class. So it's like a 450 class where 450 is the biggest you can pretty much race. Are you talking about engine size, right? 450 cc's or no? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. So I was in a B class. So it's like in between, it goes from C, B, A to like Pro Am and then Pro. And I was in B class and I uh, raced three of them, but I only got one championship. I could have got another, but uh, we had some pretty unfortunate luck happen for me. Uh, but yeah, it, yeah, Shelby. <laughs> yeah, I raced the 125 class and yeah, I got the, <laughs> I got the championship in that. Which, honestly, it was, it wasn't that big of a struggle, but it's still, like, I had to work for it. I had, one of my friends were actually my biggest competition in the class, so I won most of the motos. So how did you, how did you guys get started doing this? Um, well, to be completely honest... Uh, I was little. My dad was not really having it. I couldn't pick up stuff. So he wanted me just to get out of playing video games a lot. So he just bought me pretty much a four-wheeler, and it, it pretty much just took off from there. Like, I fell in love with it. We went riding places, and then we started racing, and then it just pretty much shot up from there. Okay. Shelby, what about you? Yeah, I just saw Brayden, like, how he liked it, so I decided to give it a try, and then I liked it, so we both just started. That is awesome. So, obviously, I saw, um, you know, some pictures and, and a video of you all. Um, this is pretty intense stuff. I mean, we, we have people from all over the, the country, and, and this is an international sport, too, right? Like, like uh, motocross and ATV racing, is it's a big deal uh, around the globe. Yeah, like uh, the higher up people, like people that race in the pros class, they go out and compete. Like they go to like Germany and like Italy to race for like like world like the world races, which is pretty crazy. Okay, so what are your goals with the sport? Like in the future, what do you hope to to achieve? I mean, you're, you're you you you're national champions. Um, you know, what's the next step for you? Well, I uh, I pretty much plan on next year going pro am, um, so just it it's gonna require a lot more work, a lot more uh, cardio, um, just overall just more working out pretty much to get prepared and prepare myself for it, and so probably try to helpfully hopefully just ride more, and just I, I plan on going pro 
in hopefully the next two years. Okay. Shelby, what about for you? Um, I don't really expect to go like as high as Braden because he's really fast. But I'll, I'll probably get to B class at least by the time. Because after I'm like a senior and like graduate, I'm probably not going to race a lot anymore due to money. Yeah, WMX. I'm going <laughs> to go to the women's class. So okay. they have like a class for just women, which mm -hmm. is like the pros for women almost, but not really. I don't know. It's weird. But it's like a class only for women once they go to 450. Okay. So, like, the girls' class, I raced in girls, which is 8 to 13. Mm -hmm. And then there's school girl, which is, like, 13 to 17. And then there's WMX, which is everything above that. Okay, so WMX is women's motocross, right? Yeah. Is that what it stands for? Okay, that's awesome. Uh, we're so proud of you guys. But I'm dying to know because um, you, you all have had to do this online learning thing. How have you been holding up? um academically like with your grades and, and your classes and um and all of that well i to be honest I, i've said this ever since we started like doing the online so i didn't realize how much i actually liked enjoyed going to school so online i i personally don't like it that much because i'm just I'm not a, like technology type of person to like learn on technology, I'm more of like a paper kind of guy, like just writing stuff down. But um, it, in a way it's easier too, just to know that you have everything in front of you. So you know, what's like, what's due, what's coming up and what you can prepare on to like find, figure out what assignments you have to do and all types of stuff like that. So it's kind of like, it's good and bad all at the same time for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm a lot like Brayden. Like, I work better with, like, paper and pencil. And so the online, it's been good for us, like, when we have to travel. Like, when we had race season, we could, like, do school while in the camper. We had to – when we were at Texas, we were there for, like, a week before the race. And we would just do school, and then once school was out, go ride. So right. that was convenient. But um, my grades are not as good as they normally would be, like, in school. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that's just a me problem because of the technology. And I, I don't really comprehend technology <laughs> most times. I got you. Well, I tell you what, we are – we are very proud of you too. It's awesome that, you know, brother and sister duo can, can achieve what you all have achieved. Way to represent Warhill, way to represent the Williamsburg community. Um, you know, I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. Um, you know, Braden, good luck at the next level and, and Shelby, welcome to Warhill. And, and we hope that you enjoy um, you know, your four years there. And, and um, you know, we always are, are here to support you and, and, want the best for you. So, you know, thanks to you for taking time uh, to speak with me. Thanks to your parents for, um, you know, everything they're doing for you. Right. Cause this isn't possible without your parents. Oh, oh yeah. of course not. All right. So, um, but, but thank you. We appreciate you and, and I wish you the best. All right. All right. Thank you for having me. All right. Me. Take care guys. You, you too. Well, that's it for this week, Lions. We sincerely hope that you stay safe and enjoy your Thanksgiving. Can't wait to see you guys. Yeah.